Hi, I'm Patrick Phillip. This is Effective Martial Arts. In this lesson, the shoulder roll. All right, so the shoulder roll is a very important basic movement for ground fighting. So it has a lot of different applications uh, to retain your guard, prevent your guard from being passed, to escape different positions. So here's how to do it uh, from scratch. If you've never done it before, here are the steps that you need to go through to be able to achieve this roll. So the first step is to be able to hold the final position of the roll, to be able to hang out upside down on your shoulder. So you wanna be able to achieve this position here, like this. So you wanna be hips over the head and toes in contact with the mat. At the beginning, you can help yourself by pushing with your elbows here to get your toes down or grabbing your ankles and pulling your toes down like this. Sometimes when you start, you're just gonna be able to go over here, that's okay. Just practice it regularly a little bit every day until you develop your flexibility and are able to hang out comfortably with your toes on the mat. The next step from this position is to be able to rock from side to side. So go from one shoulder to the other shoulder smoothly like this while maintaining the weight on your shoulders and not too much weight on your neck. You want to be able to go side to side like this while dragging your toes across the mat, like so. Once you're able to do that, you want to be able to transition from your shoulder roll position to a sitting position on both sides. So simply from here, bring your hips down to one side, bum on the mat and rise up to a sitting position. And then you want to be able to do that on the other side as well. Here, final position to sitting on this side, like so. Once you're able to do that, you understand the second half of the roll. The first half is exactly the same thing in reverse. So this is the sticky part of the roll when you're starting off. So you wanna start from a sitting position like so. You're gonna fall to your shoulder like this, tucking your head in between your knees, like so. Here, you're gonna use your toes to elevate your hips above your head, tuck your head even further between your legs, and then drag your toes across the mat like so, and then complete the roll as you just did to a sitting position on the other side. So it's very important to be able to do this uh, move slowly at first, one, to protect your neck, and also to really understand the weight distribution during your roll. So very slowly is a good drill to do it. So tuck your shoulder in like this, head, go up on the toes, elevate the hips, drag the toes across, and all the way to sitting position on the other side. It also helps if you breathe out in the middle section of the roll and stay nice and loose and relaxed. Progressively then, you wanna be able to do it faster and faster. So going here, breathing out, and here, and again, here, and here. So that's the full shoulder roll. A nice variant of this would be to do it from your knees. That's an important part as well. So being able to go from the knees like this, tucking one arm in between your legs, going to your shoulder, here, and same thing, we're gonna go shoulder roll here this way, and you can go anywhere between 90 and 180 degrees, back to your kneeling position like so. Again, from the kneeling position, get one shoulder in between my legs here, go to the toes, elevate the hips, slide the feet across, all the way to kneeling position on the other side. And again, keep doing that faster and faster on both sides, like so. Another cool application of the shoulder roll, which is a little bit more advanced, is to be able to do it on the wall. So I'm here, my feet are on the wall, hips are very close to the wall, touching. From here, I'm gonna use my feet to elevate my hips up in the air to be on my shoulders. And then I'm gonna walk one shoulder closer to the wall like so, tuck my head and use my toes to push off the wall and invert my position here, head to the wall. Very important to stay light on the wall, so not be pushing off, because you don't want to fall this way. You want to keep the toes on the wall, and from here, complete the circle, like so, to get back to my original position. And you want to be able to do that on both sides, so walk forward, push off the wall, tuck the head in, here, maintain control, and back to the other side. Similar to the uh, basic shoulder roll from sitting, you wanna be able to do this one slowly to really know where your weight distribution is and to control the movement as well as your breathing. Then progressively, you wanna be able to do it faster and faster, which is actually a little bit easier when you go faster. But you wanna be able to do fast and slow as with most exercises. 
That's how you do the basic shoulder roll as well as different variants of it. So practice this move a lot. This is really one of the fundamental moves of ground fighting and has a lot of applications later on. So till next time, I'm Patrick Fulop. This is Effective Martial Arts. Remember, practice well, safety first, and use these techniques only for self-defense.